Hello there, Jetmates. I'm Fox McCloud. Jet the Hawk here, Sumo the Hedgehog, and Commentator Dark Fit. And welcome back to another gameplay of, Fo of Star Fox 2. Now, the last time we did this, we did normal, and now we're going to go into hard mode. We did normal with Faye and Miyu, so now we're going to go into hard mode, and this time we are going to choose the two best pilots that I know. Oh, I think I know who you're going to pick. You're going to pick that blue bird, and you're going to pick the rabbit, right? I think he's going to pick himself, and then he's going to pick Slip, and I think he's going to pick Peppy. Oh, no, 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 no. How about you pick Slippy first, and then Falco last? <laughs> maybe Falco, maybe Falco could be annoyed by him. Uh, okay. No, we're going to, we'll, we'll just go along with this, please. So we're going to skip the whole entire story on this one, right? Well, yeah, we are, because obviously... All right, we already know the whole entire thing. So guys, if you haven't noticed, we've seen a lot of things that's been going on into this situation. And what situation is that? We forgot that, um, you know, we have not been doing a challenge lately. What do you mean they haven't doing a challenge lately? Well, in this one, we're gonna be doing a challenge. So first one we're gonna pick is none other than Peppy here. And the second pilot that we are going to pick... Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. How do I, uh... Okay, there we go. Okay. Alright. So you decided to pick the rabbit and the Slippy, huh? With the same ship? That's kind of dumb, don't you think? Yeah, you may say it's dumb, but you know, it's the thought that counts. It's the thought that doesn't even count at all. You could have just picked yourself, and you could have just gone along with Peppy, but no! Hey, Vader, I wanted to ask you something real quick. A very good question. What's that, Silver? What was it like playing as Peppy here in Star Fox Zero when he had to do his own mission? I'll tell you what it was like. It was like chaos all over again. So, was it at least a little bit good? No! I mean, I mean, that's something that I thought I would never see, that you have to play as Peppy here, Peppy here, and then the next thing you know, it, it was just like that. Like, I never thought that you would have to play Peppy here to take down one battleship. One battleship! One battleship. Not just two, one battleship. And you have to play as Peppy here in that game. And I told myself that is ridiculous. Well, it happens. I mean, Peppy here is good. He is an old wingman of Fox. Ooh, give me that. Yeah, but Wing still. Wire. The thought that counts is that he has not, well, you know. I mean, yes, he has experience and everything, but still, though. Never judge a classic by their covers. Vader. I mean, look at you. You're a classic. Fox a classic. Me and Silver, we're about to become classics. Oh, yippee hooray. I should count my blessings. Do you even count? Can you count? Like, that's the question, Sil Vader. Can you count blessings? You know what? Just get on with the whole entire game for play, because obviously this is something that I should, that's getting, that's starting to become ridiculous right now. You're asking me a dumb question, do I count my blessings? No, I don't count anything! The only thing I count is my victories of how I'm supposed to win, how teams are supposed to win, and how Bowser is supposed to be better than, Fo than Mario, including this guy right here, Fox. What, me? What did I do? Oh, you haven't won a championship yet, Fox, so obviously that's the reason why. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Vader. I didn't know me, I didn't know me winning a championship was so important to you. It, it, it's the thought that counts, okay? It's the thought that counts. You have to win championships in Super Smash Brothers. Obviously, you have not been winning any championships. <clears throat> Anyways. I want to ask this question about this game. This game is like the second of Star Fox. Of, in, in Star Fox, right? Yeah. So my question is, how come, and I want to ask this question very strictly, how come they, Star Fox uh, Zero have to copy it? Because that's what Star Fox, 
No, not Star Fox Zero. I mean Star Fox Zero. I mean Star Fox Command. If you look at the difference between Star Fox Command and you look at the difference between this game, you'll see what they're talking about. To be honest, I have to say this. Star Fox Zero is not really all that. Wow, we've been all saying that for the past couple of days, couple of months, couple of weeks, and everything else. And you finally realize that? I mean, seriously. I mean, look at all this. I mean, seriously, if you actually think that this game is something, wait until you see Star Fox Zero. <laughs> Speaking of which, Fox, we did say this last time. Are we ever going to replay that game, like revisit it one day? Maybe one day if things go good. If things go good. All right, we're about to enter the last part. Why is Peppy Arwing like that? Well, it looks like Fox destroyed the whole entire thing. That's one battleship that's down. You know, the thing is, the Star Fox Command battleship was not in this one. No, just the enemies and just the uh, missiles. The enemies and the missiles were the only two that was in this game, right? Yep. Oh, now this is a show that I'm willing to see. Peppy here versus Pickle. These two have been rivalries ever since. And the real truth about it is that Pickle used to be a part of Team Star, Talk Star Fox. It was James, Peppy, and Pigma. But Pigma only did that for money. Well, of course you gotta do something for money. I mean, you gotta join a team to be a pilot. And he said he's not half bad for an amateur. So when the 64 came out, that's when they started like giving these characters like stories, right? How come they haven't given me, you, and Faye a story? Planetary missile is heading for Corneria, and obviously I'm missing it due to the fact that Pigma is keeping me blocked. Come on, Pigma. There you go. Huh. He is old or something. But still, I prefer Pigma over Peppy anytime. Oh, of course you would prefer Peppy over Pigma. I mean, me, honestly, if it was me, I would not even prefer that. Wow, that was a nice one. The satellite picked up the missile. The satellite picked up the enemies and blew them up. This is how you know this game is going to get real hard. We did this planet already, so why we gotta do it again? Have no idea. Oh man, why are you destroying a missile you don't darn well that's not gonna help? Is it? Wait, I can't find a darn thing. Oh, wait, hold on. What is this? Ooh, special weapon. Special weapon. Wait, get back here. I got you. Put it down, put it down. 
Got it. Hey, buzz off. Huh. So it was just nothing but a snake. got insects in this game insects bugs mosquitoes and all that that is disgusting hey look who's talking someone who had to use those enemies to destroy it to destroy the star wolf team i mean to destroy star wars you're darn right we did how to do that was that a bird yeah that was your cousin jet oh, what First of all, I don't even know who the heck that is. <laughs> he said it was your cousin. <laughs> oh, that was funny one, Vader. I know, right? Oh, yeah, funny. Ha, 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 ha. Very funny. You guys are morons, I swear. All right, Fox. Get inside that base and let's hurry this up before I have to punch these two right in their throat. You're threatening us, and now I don't like it. Why'd you do that, Vader? Because I was gonna tell him a lesson that you should not, that is not, that is not appropriate to be threatening people. In his case, in Jet's case, it is. Of course it is in his case. He has no morals at all. For a leader of the Babylonians, what kind of leader threatened their own teammate? Someone who doesn't give a darn, that's who. Thank goodness I'm not a leader of a team. You was never to be lead. You was never to be a leader of a team anyway, Silver. So it's a good thing that you're not. You know, honestly, I could be a good leader. Fox, what do you think? Special weapon. Ah, uh, don't get me to the talking about you being a leader. I mean, you were on Team Jet and Team Jet in the Olympics, so. But you don't think I could lead a team? No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all, Silver. I'm just saying. He's saying that you suck at being a leader. I'm not saying that at all, Jet. Yes, you are. I mean, look at me. I can lead a team. Please. When you were leading a team, you was getting yourself into a lot of trouble due to Wave always telling you this and that. Okay, first of all, it was me who told Wave to do what I told her to do. Huh. Spoken like a true leader. Well, I could do that with my team. No, you can't. So you can't even lead a team on your own. You have to have Wave to be. You have to have Blaze to be the leader, because she knows what to do more than you do. What the? They've been hit by a planetary missile. They've been hit by a planetary missile. There has been hit by a planetary missile, and it's all your fault because you took forever, Fox. See what happens? Yeah, you see, this is the re and this is the difference between this is the difference between Star between Star Fox to and Star Fox Command. We have to go over there and stop that planetary missile because something went wrong. It's twenty percent of damage over there. Oh crap! Oh no! No! We gotta head for this missile. Let's head for this missile. Let's stop it right now. So, these games are all really all hard, huh? Huh. I can't believe you just let 20% of damage go into Planet Corneria. Well, yeah, it was my fault because I just, I, you know, try to do things real quickly and easily. And this missile right here is getting on my nerves. The missile is very fast and very tough. Obviously, you need to learn. You need to learn how to keep up with it and try to shoot it down if you can, like that. Simple. Hey, Vader, how big was your death? Was your Death Star? Was the Death Star for uh, Lord Sidious? Very big, Silver. Very, very, very big. Huh. Maybe I might... Mm, 
I don't know. I was gonna say I might visit it one day. You can't. Why not? It's destroyed, you idiot. Wait, who is that? Wait, his name is Ali Algi 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 Ugly Algi. Who is that, Fox? Um, <laughs> that is supposed to be um, what's his name? That is supposed to be uh, what's his name? Right. Um, and. Wait, that's supposed to be Andrew? I believe so. But his name was Augie at that time. I don't know who this guy is. He almost looked like Dash. Yeah, he does, but he's not. Who is Dash, by the way? He is, uh, Fox, you might want to tell him. He is Andros's grandson. Andros had a grandson in Star Fox Command, yes. But who is this? I mean, this is supposed to be Andrew, but it's not Andrew. His name is His name is something else. I have to use my specialty for this. Oh man, he's taking forever to go down. Don't you have bomb blasters? Use your bomb blasters. Or your Nova bombs or something. Don't you have those, Fox? No, I don't have any of those. How do you not have no Nova bombs? What's the matter with you? This get look at the special that Slippy got. Oh yeah, you had to change it to Slippy. You had to change it to Slippy. What is wrong with you? Why couldn't you just not change it to Slippy and stay as paper with the two shooter until everything was done? Yeah, Fox, I mean, seriously. That would have been a simple suggestion. Don't you have a game to be get ready to commentate on? No, I don't. Speaking of which, since we're taking forever playing this game, I just wanted to say to you guys, well, I can't say it to the very end. Yeah, please savor it for the very ending part. Oh, come on, man. I'm almost there. Ah, oh, man. This yellow target thing is on my nerves sometimes. Ah! Got him. Yes. So, that is Andrew Boykin, the prototype name. Hey! Then he's another Silver the Hedgehog guy! What? No, he is not no other Silver the Hedgehog guy. He's not like me, thank you very much. Oh no. Oh, come on! Wait, I didn't ask for these idiots. Wait, the defense, the, uh, the satellite just destroyed a defensive target. Well, that's good for you. But is that good for anyone else? I don't know. Why are you asking me that question? Wait, what just happened? I, I, I'm confused. Oh, crap. Come here. Don't you dare get escape from me. Oh, come on. Fox, you're not staying behind. You're not staying in front of me. You're letting it get away. What's wrong with you? Exactly. Sometimes I think that your control is Slippy, but then the next thing you know, Slippy's not even. <laughs> oh no. Wait, what is that? Is that the satellite? Thing is taking over the satellite. Where's the other one at? Where 
is it at? It's under here. Oh, come on! Satellite is back on course, guys. Great. Terrific. Oh, fantastic. Oh, you're the only one who has to say, oh, fantastic. Uh-oh. Fox, you're in trouble now. They're getting ready for their cannons. Yeah, I noticed that, but I have to go for the missile. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, Leon, come on. <laughs> Leon. Leon's the only pain in the neck that I have to be dealing with. Well, you took forever trying to go to the other planets and stuff like that. Which has Peppy. Uh. Got him. Uh, okay. Hey, Fox, you gotta stay on target on this one. You know that, right? Of course, you gotta stay on target on this one. Everybody knows that. Hey Vader, any advice to Fox on how to aim, how to aim and shoot? Fox is an ace. Okay, let me just say this: Fox is a pilot. He knows how to shoot and fight. But any advice from you because you know how to shoot and f you know how to fly a ship. What is that supposed to be? I mean, even in Star Wars, you got even the Star Wars and the. You know, Darth Side used to fly ships too, rather than just lightsaber and fight all the time. Well, yeah, we also did that. That was the main story. That was the main part of the story. Like, what's wrong with you? Man? What's wrong with you, Silver? That's like saying that's that's like trying to ask you if you know if you any advice on trying to give uh Jet to uh, Jet to learn how to fly. Excuse me. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're a flightless bird who knows who only knows how to fly on a, uh, on a hoverboard. Excuse me, I may be a flight. Okay, first of all, I am not a flightless bird, okay? I am a hawk, not a bird, you idiot. Hawk, bird, same thing. No, 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 no. Birds are, uh, are smaller. Hawks are bigger. Not bigger than an eagle. <gasps> How dare you say that in front of me? Or even bigger than a falcon. No, 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 no. We are bigger, better, stronger than falcons. You really have to say that, like, really. You really have to, like, seriously say that. Like, are you dead serious? You really gonna have to say that? Oh, man. Man, I am not doing so good here, guys. I know. Where is that? Where's that last one? Oh, no! What happened? I lost range of the ship. Ugh. Crud. I have to get this last one. If I don't, then the next thing you know, we're all gonna be, the plan is gonna die. All right, now we head for the ship. And you better hurry, Fox. I got it. All right, we're there. Better hurry up, Fox. I see that cannon get ready to fire. Uh, get 
away from me, you imbeciles. <laughs> if I was with Airdross, I would say this would be a perfect time for you to be do it, to be in this kind of state. Do you honestly think that Slippy and Peppy is a good team? I believe so. I mean, we all know that Slippy is a mechanic. We all know that Slippy is a mechanic. We all know that Peppy is a glue to the team. So what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is they play a big major role onto this team. You know what I mean, Vader? No, I don't know what you mean. They play a big role, okay? Let's just say that. So what? They play a big role, big deal. Uh, will you get back here and die already? You're gonna chase it in, while you're in our way mode, Fox? Yes, I am. Even if it means I'm gonna have to chase it down. You know what? Let's just go here. Okay, this thing wants to play Ring Around a Rosie, huh? Fine. Let's play Ring Around a Rosie, and I'll catch up to you right here. There you are, buddy. How's it going? Idiot. <laughs> That's all you had to do in the first place, Fox. Now you better hurry up before this thing takes down the whole entire Cordarian planet. I wonder what kind of percentage the planet... I wonder how much percentage Cordaria has suffered. Probably like 45% of damage, which is not good at all. Not good. Oh no. Here we go. Oh! You almost got blasted there, Fox. <laughs> Shut up, Jet. At least he's doing better than you. Excuse me. You know what? Fox, I'm gonna let him live. I'm gonna let him live. Leave Jet. Up. Jets. Uh, I was focusing. I don't know what to do. It's late in the afternoon, guys, and obviously Fox McCloud cannot even oh, Fox McCloud cannot even protect Cordaria for a short minute of time due to the fact that he has to do this. No, I can do it. It's just that you know I have to get rid of this planetarian thing. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't need to go after that. I just need to go to the planet. Is this for tuna? Yep. This is nothing but snow and ice. What did they do to this? I don't know, but I like the music though. Wait, is that thing underwater? What the heck, man? Hey, Fox, I wonder, can you go underwater? No, I cannot, and I'd rather not dare do that. Hey, look, a battleship! Cool! And that is where the next target is. Ah, crud. I think it's moving around. I can't even... Uh, barely got onto that stupid thing. Uh, where's it gonna be at? Cause I don't even know where it's gonna be at. Oh, get out of here. This doesn't look like the Fortuna that we all knew from like, you know, Star Fox, from like the original Star Fox. Yeah, I know what you guys mean. I mean, the fish, we remember them. Of course we do remember the fish. So, where's the target at again? That's what I'm trying to look for. Do I have to? Oh. Okay, so I do have to go underwater. Wait, so you have to go underwater with this thing? Are you kidding me? Fox, your ship can go underwater? I didn't know that either. Huh. Pretty cool, huh? No, it's not pretty cool. It's pretty stupid. 
And it's a good thing it's Slippy Ship. Kick Gunner. Who's a Kick Gunner? Well, it's a good thing you did pick Slippy for this one because I think that his ship will be good as a toad. As a walking toad ship or whatever. Oh, crud. I'm getting hit. Hey, what the? Get back here. There he go. Where did that stupid thing go? Gotcha. Oh no. Isn't he supposed to be Slippy's cousin? How can that be Slippy's cousin? I'm just saying, he could be Slippy's cousin. I see him. Man, I'm not going nowhere. Don't let her go back into that water, Fox. If you do, then it's all over. Why can't I shoot this guy? Can I go after him? Why can't I go after him? Wait, I think I see. I see him. Got him. Ha. <laughs> That takes too long. That took way long. That took like eight minutes. That took like eight, nine minutes. I could have done better. You know what? So, you know what, Jet? You could do whatever you want. I'm just saying. I could have done better with that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is kind of different. So this thing has shields. This thing has shields for you to destroy? Yep. And this is the same kind of thing I had to do with Star Fox Zero. You know that, right? Duck and dodge without using, without using motion control, huh? Slippy needs a two-shooter. He needs a two-shooter badly and fast. I never knew that your R wings could fly underwater. Didn't that happen in, uh, what was it? Hmm. You did well, but the real battle had to be done yet. Wow, he just launched two more battleships. He just launched two more battleships, and then on top of that, he just launched those satellite things to get to Pernaria. Hey, you have unlimited boost? Huh, you have unlimited boost on this one. Oh, that's not fair. How can you have unlimited boost in this one, Fox? Well, in order to catch up to our enemy. If you use your boost once, you have to wait until it recharge. But all of a sudden, this one came out of nowhere. Yep. Man, oh man, this is gonna be quite a battle. Hey, he looks like that enemy that that gives you two shoot that gives you two shooters in a pre in a recent Star Fox game, in a in the origin in the origin Star Fox game. Yeah, he is. You stand still for a second. Oh man, 
Okay, I gotta bail. I gotta bail. I gotta bail. Wait, what? Fuck, what are you doing? I gotta bail. So you went to Peppy? Yes, I did. Huh, smart idea. Alright, that was done. I was chasing the wrong enemy. Uh, it was, wasn't it obvious that you was chasing the wrong enemy at this at all? If you think you could do well, you are a fool. Playtime is over. Destroy the weaklings. <laughs> he sent that stupid dragon monster again, Fox. You're in trouble now. Oh no, come on. Let me go back to the ship. It's a good thing I do have heavy right here. The Mirage Dragon has once again relived his ugly head. That's just like that time when you had, uh, what's his name, Dragon? The, uh, the Dodoron Dragon. Oh, you destroyed that thing less than two seconds, Fox. Yep. How do you do that? I guess I must have shoot him too. I shot him too much in his mouth. Sorry for that. No, we know what you meant. Good job. The satellite took that one down. Easy peasy, let me squeeze. Uh, you know what? Let me not say that. If I had things like this, this could be good ideas for me to, for me to do when I have, what I have, when I do relive this dark side of the Star Wars. Oh, great. Oh yeah, just great, just very excellent on that part. Speaking of which, you guys do realize that Christmas just passed, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait until the very end to be saying something like that. I just wanted to ask you guys, how much is Christmas? I hate to say that. Well, my Christmas was pretty awesome. I mean, we was hanging out with friends, and, you know, I was hanging out with uh, Sonic, and, um, <laughs> it was pretty cool. Of course you was. You had Blaze with you the whole entire time, didn't you? Uh, no. I'm, well, yeah. And Sonic was there, and, uh, Tails, and then Knuckles, and, of course, there was Shadow. And I believe you was there as well, Jet. Of course I was there. I remember that. The whole entire Babylon team came and celebrated Thanksgiving, celebrated Christmas with everyone else. Huh. Well, I celebrated Christmas with the Babylons inside the battleship until Sonic wanted to invite me. I said, Sonic, we beat you guys in the Olympics and now you want to invite me? Well, yeah, no hard feelings. No hard feelings. I mean, we beat them. I wonder what Mario did with Princess Peach. I wonder if they had a good Christmas. I'm pretty sure they did, Vader. You don't know that, Fox. I do know that for a fact that they did have a pretty good Christmas. Who told you that? Princess Peach herself. <laughs> Princess Peach never always tell everybody that she had a good Christmas with Mario, is that it? So she always wanna tell everybody, oh, I had a good Christmas with Mario. <laughs> oh man, that is hilarious. What is so hilarious with her having a good Christmas with um uh, with Mario. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying you had a good Christmas and you had to tell everyone you had a good Christmas with Mario. What's the matter? You can't have a good Christmas by yourself or you can't have a good Christmas with Princess Peach or Daisy. I mean, I mean, you, Rosalina and Daisy. Huh. You said herself. I mean, why would she want to have a good Christmas by herself? Well, because she is a princess, you do know that, right, Jet? Yeah, I do know that. I wanted to ask you guys, do you have a princess in your game? Well, yeah, we do have a princess. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, why would you even ask that stupid question? We always have a princess in a, in a game. No, you don't. The only thing y'all always end up saving is with, like, creatures all the time. No, we don't. But you do. What are you gonna tell me? I know. Well, he does have a point on that one, Vader. Well, Sonic saves them, not me. 
I don't save the woodland creatures. Sonic does. Battleship destroyed. Jeez, we've been at this game for 40 minutes, guys. 40 minutes. How long was the last game played? 55 minutes. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Wasn't that fast. Yeah, it was. Very fast. This is actually, this is going to be a long gameplay. Imagine. Just imagine how, how the expert mode will be. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I can imagine how hard the expert mode can be on that one. <laughs> that is so crazy. Oh man. You know, honestly, you know, to, uh, this is actually pre pretty incredible how everything that's from this game has been is related to zero and command. Well, yes, this is where the idea came from, guys. I kept telling you guys that. This was the first actual Star Fox command. And then Zero came back with a combine of Star Fox Origin, Star Fox 2, and Star Fox 64. Mm -hmm. All three games into one, which created Star Fox Zero. The idea that came from, the idea that these games came from, What is that? Whatever that is, it's coming to crush your fox. Back away from it, fox! I am. Okay, I gotta get closer. I gotta get further away from it. Oh, it's shooting out. Shooting out bombs, they're shooting out blasters, they're shooting out cannons. Gotta stop it, gotta stop it somehow. Oh man, this thing is tough. He's that charge. There we go. <laughs> nice! Nice job with that one! How could it be a nice job with that one? We almost died. Special weapon. How many special weapons have you used for Slippy? I had to use a whole bunch. <laughs> I had to use a whole bunch for Slippy. Sheesh. <laughs> This is what we're supposed to be doing for New Year's. I refuse. I might as well save that last part for New Year's. Due to the fact that Star Fox, that SJ, the creator of this whole entire channel, is making a Mario Kart game. What? Yeah, you didn't know that, Vader. No! I did not know that at all. How dare he make a, star, a, a Mario Kart game without my consideration? Well, he knew that you were tied up with us. No, that's not fair. You know what? No. I refuse on that kind of... <sighs> okay, you know what? Well, we're almost done with this one anyway, so... It's nothing for us to fear about. Wait, what is that? Oh, come on, man! <laughs> this is Venom? Mm -hmm. Ah, come on. Sometimes the barrel rolls in this game is pretty slow. 
Look at this. Andros has plants that's already deadly. I found the target. That looks like a, 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 a something. Oh, man. I thought I destroyed a thing. Hey, get out of here. What is that, anyway? I don't know. Some kind of squid monster or something. Venom has such a weird planet. Oh, we could have get this for Slippy. We could have gotten this for Slippy. Wow, you should have let Slippy done this one then. I should have, right? You know what, honestly... No, I'm sorry for saying that. Let me stop saying that. I'm gonna say this. If this place reminds me so much of Mario Golf Toshu Tour. Oh man, Vader. Yes, and you know why? Because the last time we did this gameplay, remember those space toads that I saw in the whole entire thing? Oh, those space toads you were talking about? Yeah, though. I noticed that they came from your game, Fox. Toad did not come from my game. Yes, they did. Did you not see the toads in the last one? You saw the flying toads in that one. So, toads, the toads in Princess Peach's castle, it's just nothing but a bunch of alien looking, bunch of ugly alien looking monsters that came from this game into this, into this game. Okay, then answer this question. How do you think they came into this game? I, I, I don't know. Maybe they had some kind of, uh, let's see, um, oh, now remember, they were invading, no, 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 that is the stupidest thing. Come on, Vader, tell me, how did Toad came into this game? I don't know how the Toad came into the Mario game, I honestly don't. You're gonna learn today because they came from the Super Mario game, not from my game for the last time. Yeah, you say that a bunch of times, but then the proof and evidence is right there. You saw. So okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna go there with you. Speaking of which, Star XJ said he got a new gameplay coming out. And obviously, the gameplay that he said that's coming out soon is, uh. What is it called? What is it called? Uh, oh, uh... What is it, Mario Strikers Battle League? I'm excited to play that game. I can't wait to commentate on that game. I can't wait until the project is coming out. The project will soon be coming out. I don't know when it's gonna come out. Vader, you know when the project of the game is gonna come out? Yes, I do, sir. So, when is it supposed to start? I don't know, that's the thing. I don't know when it's supposed to start. I don't know when we're supposed to get ready to commentate. All I know is that we're supposed to keep it that we are just, you know, waiting for that time to happen. So you're just waiting for that time to happen? It's gonna be like, you know, I'm not, I'm, a, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's gonna be like watching uh, soccer all over again. Well, in the Olympics, that is. Well, of course you would say that, because obviously that's what it reminds you of, doesn't it? Well, yeah, it does. You know, how come we don't have a soccer game? Who? Sonic. Sonic? Why not you ask him about that? What do you mean, why not we ask him about that? Hmm. 
That is a good question, though. You know, I'm gonna ask you two this question. Oh, come on. This is so hard. This is getting really hard. I wonder what it's like to be on expert mode. Fox, what is it like for expert? I don't know, Vader. I honestly don't. And I'm not looking forward to finding out. Okay, good. They're all done. After this, we can call it a day. 50 minutes. How long do you think it's gonna take for us to play this, to finish off this whole entire game? 53 minutes. Probably like 53 or 54 minutes. Depends on what we do. I don't know. Or it depends on something stupid that you guys might do. Oh, come on. We have to take back this satellite. This is the last thing we have to do before anything. Oh, what the? Ah! He just destroyed. He just hit Corneria. Wait, what just happened? This bro, this this ugh, this stupid thing just hit Corneria. How did that happen? Where's that other one at? So how much percent damage has Corneria got now, Fox? It has 55. Alright. Corneria's safe for now. It only has half of damage left, but obviously you're running out of time still. And this happens. guy like honestly seriously why can't you just go somewhere and beat it he doesn't want to go anywhere he wants a fight Fox so fight him for goodness sake down and take a loss because he's not that type of person to go down real easily Fox remember that pathetic fools are completely worthless <laughs> Good shot. I mean, I actually like that one better than anything else. Actually, you know what? Let me take that word back. I like. Uh, never mind. You know, how cool would it be if we actually. You know, I want to piggyback off what Jet said earlier. What did he say earlier? He said, What happens if Sonic had their own soccer game? It would not even be at all. It would not even be. That is like the most dumbest thing ever. Why would you say that? I mean, there are some teams from the Babylon. There are some teams that could be on, you know. But they'll probably call it Team Sonic Soccer. Like, three teams, like three players from the soccer team could be on teams in that group. And we already know who's going to be on one team. It's going to be Team Sonic versus Team Dark versus Team Rose versus Team Blaze versus Team maybe Jet, maybe Babylon. Thank you. But then the next thing you know, it will be a good idea. 
but here's the other part. They're gonna turn it into Sonic All-Star Soccer League. Sonic All-Star Football League. I believe that Vader is right. They might do something like that. But why? That means they're gonna invite some of the characters from like other games, like, you know, uh, don't say that guy from, uh, don't say, um, what's his name? From Jet Set Radio. He's, he's not a soccer ball player. Well, he was a racer. That was only a racing game. How many, how many racing games does Sonic has? Well, he got Sonic Drift 1, Sonic Drift 2. I believe he got a Sonic Drift 3. He also has, um, Sonic Team Racing. Well, Team, yes, Team Sonic Racing. And... Sonic All-Stars, Sonic All-Stars Transform, you know, so according to that, he has like, hmm, Drift, Drift 1, I mean Drift, Drift 2, Sonic Transform, Sonic All-Star Racing, Sonic All-Star Racing Transform, he has about five. You figured that one out by just counting? Yeah. Plus, the last one that he had was with me. The last one that he had was with me, and it was so perfect. But you wasn't a leader of that team. Blaze was. And you also had, um... What's his name on your team? Vector. Oh, yeah, we did have Vector on our team. Mm. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. I'm just so mad I wasn't even a part of that team. I mean, I would have probably done a good job. You do a good job on this team. Yeah, I would do a good job. You don't think I would do a good job? No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, I don't know what would happen. I mean, it could have been possible that you could have done a good job. Or it could not. Maybe you could have done a good job as a leader. Piggybacking off what uh, Vader said about that, I believe that he's right that you guys would not even have. I mean, honest, I mean, to be telling you the truth, you guys are, are, are I don't know how the game is with uh, Sonic, uh, Sonic Frontier. Has you guys even played it already? No. Well, on this channel, we haven't played it, but I do know if I'm not in it, there's going to be some lot of downloads in that game. And Fox, if we do get that game, we have to play it. We definitely have to play it. It will be the first gameplay that we do for Sonic. Tch, pathetic. So you say, have you guys ever done a Sonic gameplay before? Yeah, we have, have we? Have you guys ever, have we ever done a Sonic gameplay, Fox? We have, well we did a Sonic Riders Zero Gravity gameplay, remember? Wait, have you, wait, you done a Sonic Riders gameplay? Yeah, cause I ever told the story about how the Babylons did this. Wait, did you do the first one? Or did you the second one. Look, it's Andros! Wow, he never showed his complete face. He kind of did, and he showed the hands. So Star Fox 2 got the idea of him having the hands and his face and everything else, right? Yep. Wow. Peppy's going down. Better do something, Peppy. Well, Peppy destroyed it, and we're about to get ready to do our last one. How long did it take us? Oh my gosh. 
Okay, guys, this is a one hour video. Ugh. This is a one hour video. Alright. Guys, I am going to have to end this gameplay because we've already seen the whole entire thing like this. So, with that being said, we're going to have to take a one for the turn. So, I am Fox McCloud, Jack the Hawk here, Silver the Hedgehog, and Carver to the Dark Bear. Say thank you guys for watching this gameplay with us. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. If you guys want to see more, hit the bell for notifications. And if you guys really like this video, even though it's an hour video, give it a thumbs up, please. Yeah, because Fox just went over an hour of this video, and obviously, I never knew how, how long does it take for Star Fox game to be finished? Well, to be honest with you, it took us like a whole hour to finish the last first one. That is true, but Star, but this? This game right here? Ho oh, ho, this is gonna take like two or three hours to finish. Anyways, let's just get on with it and just move on with it. So, yeah. We were gonna end this whole entire gameplay with us just saying our little ending intro. Um, Vader, is there anything you wanna add to that? Oh, so today, ladies and gentlemen, we just wanted to tell you guys this. SJ Star Fox himself told me that we are now going to give you guys a late Christmas present. So our late Christmas present to you guys is this. Really? We're giving him this? Oh yeah, you got a better idea? <sighs> no, the Christmas gift was we're going to give them two videos. Today we're going to be doing this. And then next, coming up next, after this video, after this long gameplay, will be, uh, huh, it will be Star Fox Jet playing Mario Kart once again, but this time, he'll play the, uh, the Wave 2, uh, the second wave that was launched for this game. I mean, well, yeah, for the, for Mario Kart. And the third wave, when is it gonna come, when the, when, when he's gonna do a third wave? I think he's gonna do the third wave tomorrow. Well, that's pretty excellent. I mean, that's to say the least. Alright, guys. So, from me, Commentator Vader, Jet the Hog, and Silver the Hedgehog, we want to wish you guys a late, very, very, merry, merry, merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. And, see, and happy New Year's and happy holidays to all. To all a good year. Yes. Merry, Cri merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from the dark side. And I always, and honestly, people, I find your lack of cheer quite disturbing. I find all your lack of cheer quite disturbing. I don't like the holiday season. But yet you celebrate it because you have a Christmas hat on your helmet. Shut up, Fox. Just shut up. Anyways, see you guys next time.